Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 13 of annual term. And there is no HW today. My dear student, our today's topic name, exercise 11. And the name of the chapter is measurement. Okay, from this chapter, today we shall discuss the basic, basic discussion. And from exercise 11a, we shall solve three odd problems. One, two, and three as your CW. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Here, chapter 11, measurement. Okay, so at first we do the work of basic discussion. Here you notice, this is a chart. Kilo, hectare, deca meter liter gram and deci centi milli i repeat kilo hecto deca meter liter gram deci centi milli okay meter is the unit which is used to measure distance liter is the unit which is used to measure liquids weight gram is the unit which is uh, the unit to measure weight of any solid okay my dear student meter liter gram okay now kilo hector deca deci centi milli please memorize with me kilo hector deca meter liter gram deci centi milli okay kilo hector deca and the gap deci centi milli abar again kilo hector deca deci centi milli again kilo hector deca deci centi milli okay in gap we uh, we memorize meter liter gram when we want to measure distance then we use meter when we want to uh, when we want to measure the weight of liquid then we use liter when we want to measure uh, weight of solid substance then we use gram okay now dear student please notice kilo hecto deca meter liter gram deci centi milli so if you can memorize this chart then this chapter is so easy for you so how can please notice one kilo equal to how many hectogram one kilo equal to how many hectogram so one kilogram equal to 10 hectogram when it go one step then it needs 10 okay 1 kilogram equal to 10 hectogram. If I want to ask 1 kilogram equal to how many decagram and it will be 1 kilogram equal to 1 2 that means for 1 kilo I write here 1 then how many step 1 2 so I write here 2 0 1 hectogram. Now similar way 1 kg equal to how many gram uh, for this 1 kilo I write here 1 and how many step 1 2 3 so i write here 1 2 3 gram okay i hope you have understood similar way if i want to know from you 1 kilogram equal to how many milligram then what will be 1 kilogram equal to how many milligram then 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 step that means here i write 6 0 after 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is milligram 1 kilogram equal to after 1 there is 6 0 that means this is gram so it is 10 lakh milligram i hope you have understood similar way if i want to know from you 1 hectogram equal to how many decagram 10 1 decigram equal to how many centigram 10 1 centigram equal to how many milligram then it will be 10 here we use the unit gram but if we use 1 kilometer equal to how many hectometer it will be same 10 okay 1 kilometer equal to how many decameter it will be 100 okay i hope you have understood please memorize this very carefully kilo hecto deca liter meter liter gram and deci centi milli my dear student please there is another chart okay this is very very important for short question okay please notice one 100 kilogram equal to one quintal so 100 kilogram equal to one quintal so a short question is 
uh, a short question comes in your exam just like this one quintal equal to how many kilogram then the answer will be 100 kilogram or kg okay one metric ton equal to how many quintal then it will be 10 quintal one metric ton equal to how many kilogram it will be 1000 kilogram i hope you have understood i repeat one metric ton equal to how many quintal it will be 10 one metric ton equal to how many kilogram it will be 1000 one quintal equal to how many kilogram it will be 100 so this is very very important okay next 1000 cubic meter equal to 1 liter this is another short question and it is very very important for your annual term exam okay 1000 cubic centimeter equal to 1 liter 1000 cubic centimeter equal to 1 liter my dear student this is the basic of this chapter now we shall solve three odd problem from exercise 11a one odd problem is Raju's height is 1.35 meter and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter how much is the difference in their height write it in centimeter my dear student please notice Raju's height is 1.35 meter and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter the unit is different here is meter and here is decimeter but the question asks you to find out the answer in centimeter okay so first of all we convert Raju's height into centimeter after that we convert his brother's height in centimeter then we do subtraction and we get the answer I hope you have understood how to solve this math this is the algorithm of this math okay when you want to solve a word problem at first you make a plan then it is easier for you to solve so please notice here question number one solution here first of all we write given that Raju's height is 1.35 meter the question asks you to find out the answer in centimeter for this reason we convert this meter into centimeter so we know 1 meter equal to how many centimeter please notice 1 meter equal to how many centimeter for 1 I write here 1 and centimeter that means it uh, go to a step one step to a step that means 100 so we multiply 1.35 by 100 to get the unit in centimeter that means 1.35 multiply 100 centimeter if we multiply then we get 135 5.00 centimeter okay here I give a side note that 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So my dear student, we get Raju's height in centimeter which is 135. Similar way, we now we shall find out his brother's height in centimeter. Here 9.6 decimeter. So we multiply 9.6 with 10 to get the unit in centimeter. Here you notice decimeter. So 1 meter decimeter that means it go one step so one meter uh, one decimeter equal to one centimeter one decimeter equal to one centimeter so 10 9.6 multiply 10 if we multiply then we get 96.0 so this zero has no value so 96 centimeter is the height of his brother now we need to find out the difference so the difference in their height is 135 minus 96 so if we subtract 96 from 135 then you get 39 centimeter and it is the answer that means this is the 39 centimeter is the difference of their height okay so question number one done next we shall solve question number two question number two is so easy we use our unitary method okay so notice a tailor has 375 decimeter of cotton cloth okay and wants to make 15 shirt from it how many centimeters can he use for one shirt dear student i repeat a tailor has 375 decimeter of cotton cloth and wants to make 15 shirt from it how many centimeters can he use for one shirt dear student notice the uh, tailor has 375 decimeter but the question asks you to find out the answer in centimeter so at first we convert this decimeter into centimeter after that we use your unitary method that means for making 15 shirt a tailor need three, uh, 375 multiplied 10 that means 300 3750 centimeter 
coal clothes then after that uh, it uh, for making one shirt uh, how many centimeters of cotton clothes is needed for uh, needed to the tailor okay it's so easy first of all we convert this 375 decimeter into centimeter so please we shall go to the solution given that a tailor has 375 decimeter of clothes here 375 multiply 10 centimeter of clothes we convert this decimeter into centimeter because our question ask us to find out the answer in centimeter okay so 375 multiply 10 here i give a side note one decimeter equal to 10 centimeter so if we multiply 375 with 10 then we get 3750 centimeter of clothes for making 15 shirt he needs 3750 centimeter clothes for making one shirt one is smaller than 15 so division will be happened that means 3750 divided by 15 centimeter clothes if we divide 3750 we get 250 centimeter clothes the division procedure is given here in 3750 goes in two times 215 are 30 after subtracting we get 7 and this 5 is placed here in 75 15 goes in 5 times that means 5 15 are 75 we subtract and we get 0 and this 0 is placed here in 0 15 goes in 0 times that means 15 0 are 0 okay so we get 250 centimeter so 250 centimeter is needed to make one shot for that tailor okay my dear student our last question okay here reza works 45 meters a minute and mina works 80 centimeters a second who can work faster i repeat reza works 45 meters a minute and mina works 80 centimeters a second my dear student please notice reza works 45 meters a minute on the other hand mina works 80 centimeters a second that means totally different of two units the distance is different unit on the other hand time is also different unit for this reason at first we make at least once uh, once distance uh, at first we make the distance in same unit on the other hand we make the time in same unit so at first we write given that in one minute reza works 45 meters we keep it remain unchanged okay then we know that 60 seconds equal to one minute so in one second mina works 80 centimeter mina works how many centimeter 80 centimeter in 60 seconds mina works 60 is greater than on for this reason multiplication will be happened that means 80 multiplied by 60 we get 4800 centimeter but reza works 45 meters so we convert this centimeter into meter how can we divide this 4800 centimeter by 100 and we get the result of meter that means if we divide 4800 divided by 100 then we get 48 meter so we write this sentence in such a way that in one minute mina works 48 meter my dear student notice here 48 meter and 45 meter between these two distance 48 meter is greater uh, greater than 45 meters that's why in one minute mina in one minute mina works first works faster or faster than reza so the answer is Mina. My dear student, this is our today's lecture. I hope this class is fruitful, fruitful for you to understand our this our today's chapter. Okay, my dear student, there is no SW today, but you have to practice this at home more and more to understand the whole chapter. So my dear student, keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamualaikum.